Okay, in this tutorial we're going to look at um, taking out some textures from Substance Painter and bringing them into Maya. So essentially using a PBR workflow within Maya itself. Um, so in Substance Painter I've just created this um, texture, this filing cabinet. Okay, and to take this out all we need to do is go to File, Export Textures. Uh, you can set a location, I've already got one in there. And then in terms of the configuration, I'm going to use this PBR Metal Rough configuration. And within that, we have these output maps. We have base color, roughness, metallic, normal, height, and emissive. Um, don't worry if you don't have an emissive in there. Uh, it will come up with an error, but essentially it'll just ignore it. And really, we're not going to use a height map either, but I'll just leave those in for now. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have these at 2K. And all we need to do is just click on export and export those out. Um, now I've already done that, so I have some ones in here. So I have my filing cabinets all within there, all rendered out. So the main thing on there is that PBR metal rough. Okay, so I'll just cancel that out. So into Maya, I have this in here. Um, so we're using Arnold on this, Maya 2018. So Give myself more screen space. So I'm going to apply a texture to this and in fact I have these as separate objects so I'll just apply the texture to everything. Uh, right click, assign it new material. I'm going to go into the Arnold section under the shader and we're going to use this AI standard surface. Okay. So this is a base Arnold shader. Um, so essentially we're just going to go through and plug the maps in bit by bit and it's pretty obvious where they go. And so we have our, first of all, our base color. Click on the node, and we're going to bring in a file. Go up, image name, and I'm just going to choose, uh, let me go to my documents, just bring this in. So filing cabinet base color. Okay. Um, to show the text, we just simply press six. And that's our base color texture on there. Just click on this to go back and let's carry on going through. So we have our metalness. So again, click on the node at the side. Let's choose a file node. And let's bring in the metal, uh, metallic. Okay. Let's click back up. Our roughness. And then here, let's go into this. Again, just click on file. Um, just go into file node and let's choose the roughness, making sure I'm getting the right one. And uh, let's go back up. Finally, we just have the normal map. So under geometry, I have the bump mapping. Click on this. I'm going to choose a file again. And what we're going to do is we need to use this as a tangent space normal. Um, I'm just going to click off the flip R channel because I've been coming out of this. Um, I may be using the direct X. Uh, let me just check. Let's go into the configuration for this and make sure I get the right one. So PBR metal rough. Um, so that's the, yeah, that's the direct X. Um, so that is a flipped um, green channel. Cancel that. So in Maya, I do need this flip green channel and there to bring it back to a Maya standard. Um, okay. I'll check on that anyway, uh, but I definitely don't want the red channel flipped. And that is that. We do need to set some other things up in there as well. And uh, let's go back up. So let me just go back into one of these, going to go back into the color. Uh, we need to set up the color space. So actually the color I'm going to use as sRGB. I'm going to leave that as that for our color space. Let's go through to the metalness. The metalness, the color space, I just want to set to raw on that. We don't want any correction, any gamma correction or anything on that. And also, because this is grayscale information, I'm going to go down here and just check this under the color balance. Um, check this alpha is luminance. Okay. 
go back up. Let's go into our roughness. Same thing on this. I'm going to set this color space to raw. And I'm going to use the go down our face luminance. Go back up and just on my normal map. Uh, I'm going to set this one to raw. But this time I don't want the alpha's luminance because our normal map holds color information in the RGB channels. Okay. And um, that's it essentially for, for bringing the textures in. Uh, so let's open up Arnold and let's have a look at this. So in Arnold, I'm going to go to the Arnold render view. Open this up. I'm just going to click on this little play button here. Uh, we don't have any lights in here at the minute, actually, so it's going to show pretty much nothing. So we need to bring some lights in. So let's just put this out to one side. Under Arnold, um, I'm going to go to lights, and I'm just going to use for this a sky dome light. Okay, if we just bring this back over, you see I actually have something there now. To get a bit more out of this, I'm going to put in uh, an IBL image, so an image-based lighting, pretty much um, the way that Substance Painter works. So, again, let's pull this to one side. On our, making sure we've got our sky dome. In the color, I can just go into the sky dome light attributes, and in the color, I just click, click and choose File again. Go to... Um, The file and I'm going to find uh, an IBL. Um, so let me just go into this, go into my program files. Uh, there are some already in the Maya folder, so click to the latest Maya folder, presets, assets, and IBL. And then what I need to do is I'm just going to choose one of these. So whichever one, I'm going to choose this. Let's say choose this. Okay, we have a neutral and a color version. I'm going to choose the color version. Open that up. It's going to bring that in. I am just going to make sure. Um, let me just bring this back over. This is really bright right now. Uh, I do need to make sure on this the color space again. On this is just set to raw. Okay. Uh, I do have this on the run IPR, by the way. Uh, the, it will update itself as I move around. And also, I'm able to move around the viewport in this. Um, if you can't do that, just go to Window and just make sure that 3D Manipulation is clicked on. And that will allow you to rotate within the Arnold view, Arnold render view, rather than in the viewport itself. Okay. So, we have something like that. Just let it finish. Uh, the quality is not very good at the minute. We would need to up the quality on this. So if I just go into my render settings, um, just click on this button here for my render settings. I'll leave it at the default size, but um, if you were rendering this out, you'd probably want to render it out something bigger than 540. Um, so you can choose a preset in here. So say HD 720 or, or 1080. Um, but as I said, just for the speed of this video tutorial, I'll, I'll leave it at 540. Under the Arnold Renderer, I'm just going to increase a couple of these properties. So I'm going to leave the camera at 3. I'm going to up the diffuse. I'm going to up the specular. May just up the indirect on that. And every time you increase one of these, the quality is going to get better. Uh, but the, the render time will go up as well. Okay. Don't actually need to do the SSS. Let me take just take the camera up one more. Can also go into the ray depth. I'm just going to increase the values here. And you see it starts getting a bit smoother now. Get a bit 
get closer to this. Take these up a bit more. Okay, that's starting to get better quality now. Let's pull this back. And there we go, we've got our um, PBR textures within Arnold and we're able to render those out. And there's a couple of final things we can do. Um, if you want to get rid of the IBL image, again, thinking how Substance Painter works, we can do that. Image go in, and again, just make sure I've got my sky dome. Let's go down, and in the camera, I'm just going to set the visibility to zero and essentially that's just going to switch that camera off and then we can go in and I've actually done this already uh, it may default to a black viewport you can just go into this color we've got our background color here okay you can just go into this color here and just set this to slightly lighter color okay Um, you can also increase the resolution here as well and increase the samples. So the the oh, resolution, let's just take this up by a thousand. It's going to improve the quality of our IBL and the samples um, will increase the shadow quality. And this, the shadows are quite subtle on this, but um, I'll just take that up one more. And I'll just finish off. I do just want to check the normal maps on this. I've not yet done that. Don't know if we're getting those normal maps through, so I'm going to go into the. Um, click on. Let's just wait for this to go. So just to go into the hyper shade, what I'll do is I'll just close this down for now. Otherwise, this may crash. Um, so let me just pull my hyper shade across. Just bring the size of this. In fact, I'll just stretch it out. Um, this is my material here. Middle mouse, drag it in. This gives me uh, the properties, and I can just click on this button here to show the input graph which is going to show all of our inputs. Uh, I can go into the bump map. In fact if I just go into this let's go to the geometry tab. So this. Uh, let me just find those settings. Um, no there we go. On the um, no, 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 that's not that. Let me just go into this where we have our bump node. Thought it would have been in there. Let's go into this again. What I may just do. Um, Let me just break this connection. And actually, let me just get rid of this for a second. Let's see if I can bring this back. 
So in our geometry, I'm going to go back into this. Let's choose file. Let's choose tangent space normal. Let's just bring in that normal map again. Oops. Normal. Let's just set this to raw. Half of his luminance there. Okay, sorry about that. Just um, it's the bump 2D node. So I'm going to this. I'm just going to go. If you, so if that's um, down, you may just have to click on this icon here and then go into Arnold and uh, let's take the flip R channel off. Um, and just pull this to one side. Okay, that's working now. I will just take off. Just need to bring this to one side here. So I can see what's happening. Yeah, if I flip green channel. Actually, it's not making much difference on that. Um, we do need to flip though, because it was flipped out for Maya space. It needs to be a positive Y uh, or green channel, and we, we brought it out as a negative in there. So that should be better. Um, it wasn't getting the normal back before with the the flip red on that. We are now. Uh, let's just check this in the Arnold render view. Let's click on. The Play. There we are, we are getting the normal map now, which we weren't before. And uh, that's when that's rendered out, okay. And if you want to save this, you can just go to File, Save Image. And you can just give it a file name and then just save it out. Um, okay, so that is it. That's actually uh, bringing images or textures from Substance Painter uh, as a PBR workflow. Bringing those into Arnold and do a standard um, surface shader in Arnold. And then just using a simple, um, simple Skydome light with an IBL on that just to render this out. And that's the end of this tutorial.